Hello, this is Annalisa from Face Dream Create, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Recycle With Me project, and I will be using the Oreo cookie packaging to create cards for you. I created four cards, but you'll be seeing three because I made two of one of them, and I'm just going ahead and cutting down all the pieces that I was thinking of using or end up using here. And here is everything cut down. And then I ended up using the plastic packaging where the cookies are stored as well to store all the little itty bitty pieces. And you could definitely utilize this in your craft space to store like washi tape or markers. So there you go, you get cards and an organizational tool. So I'm just going ahead and using this stamp from the coffee break set from Honeybee Stamps. And just playing around with the positioning that I wanted and then using Memento Tuxedo Black Ink to stamp the coffee to go cup from that set and at first I wanted to have the coffee cup in behind and have this over top that's what I was thinking but then I decided to cut it down there and just have the cookie sitting next to the coffee and here I'm coloring it with my Spectrum Norm markers. And you can see the colors on the pen cap and also in the description box below and on my blog post there will be links to all the colors used as well. So I ended up making some graduation cards and just some fun coffee cinnamon bun themed cards that you could give to a friend to get together with them or if I really like cinnamon buns and then I'm just using some of the sentiments from the perfect blend stamp set from honeybee stamps as well to create my sentiment here so it's gonna say coffee cinnamon buns or cinnamon cookie so coffee and cinnamon cookie and then I ended up just using a glue stick to adhere the pieces from the Oreo. Packaging. And I used, yeah, the cinnamon cookie packaging and then just like double stuffed Oreos. But you could have so much fun with this because there is so many different flavors. We just got carrot cake flavor and... There's birthday cake flavor, so you could like make birthday cards with the birthday with the birthday cake flavor. And if you really like, yeah, you could just go to town and just have different fun with the different packaging. Pick your favorite one, or you know, somebody really likes mint Oreos, make them a card. They're having so many fun flavors all the time, so. If you like Oreo cookies, this is a fun project. And then I'm just using some vintage photo Distress Oxide inks around to just finish off the background here. And I could have done this before, but it just came right off of the, came right off there. And then I'm using the Dollar Rama makeup brush to blend that in. And then I was just playing around with some different pieces here to see what I wanted to do. And my idea behind this card was to say like Oreo, like instead of like, oh, instead of saying, you'd say Oreo, oh. So yeah, you'll see what I do with this in a minute. So I'm just using some Broken China Distress Oxide ink here and making the background blue to kind of match the colors in the Oreo cookie packaging. And then I glue that one on there. And it was kind of hard to get it to stick. I wasn't using the best glue stick. I was using like a repositional one. So I don't suggest using that. But just put a lot of glue and hopefully it stays. If you find a better solution to glue this 
thin material on let me know in the comments below and so yeah i'm making a grad card here so this was a stamp that i picked up at michael's and then i made these sentiments in just on my printer in word and i cut it down after i printed it out and it says you did it smart cookie so after that was cut down i just grabbed some black cardstock um that was a scrap and glued that down on there and then trimmed that out so it just had a little black border and then i was ready to just see what i wanted to do i kind of wish i had kept it with the two colors but it worked out and it looked really cute with the black oreo cookie and then glued the sentiment strip from the printer down and then it goes like oreo congrats grad you did it you're one smart cookie okay and then i grabbed the coffee cup from that same stamp set coffee break from honeybee stamps and inked it up and before I stamp it, I grab the vintage photo again to quickly just have a background here. And because I was going to be using dark colors for the coffee cup, I was going to just color over the ink that I'd applied. So here is just a little bit of coloring quickly. And then adding some coffee smoke or steam. And then I'm making this a cinnamon bun themed again. So it was really fun to just play around with these little pieces that I was able to cut down. And something different. And I love the little cute little cinnamon buns there. We'll definitely have to try um, some different projects with some different different flavors of Oreo cookies too. I'm excited to see what I could come up with to theme it to that particular flavor. What is your favorite um, Oreo cookie flavor that you've ever tried? Let me know in the comments below. Just as a fun thing, I like experimenting and tasting the different ones i think it's a fun a fun thing to do and sometimes they taste really good and sometimes it's like this don't taste very good all right so this one says coffee and cinnamon bun time and i used the stamp set perfect blend again from honeybee stamps and then just adhering all of those um little bits and pieces there together onto the card and i ended up going over the letters here just with a black pen just to pop them out a little bit they didn't stamp perfectly and I just wanted them to be a little bit more bold and a little bit more readable and yeah so then I just took a spectrum roll marker again and outlined the steam on the coffee cup to make it stand out a little more and to finish off this card I used morning dew nouveau drops just around the edges to add a little bit more and yeah and I really like how it turned out so here is a close-up of all of the cards that I created today in this video and I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because I have a lot of videos coming and I would love for you to join me on this journey and create with me. So bye for now.